previously on the NoVP channel. Smell me like an animal. And coming up. It smells faintly like p I don't want to. <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Cue the snafu! Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to another Novimpia video, and uh, Juno, this is our attorney, Gutterous. <laughs> Gutterous! <laughs> This is Gerda Rouse, our um, attorney. Gerda Rouse. Hi. Gerda Rouse. You've been waiting to do that on camera for so many weeks now. I thought about this like a few hours ago. I was like, I'm going to open up with Gerda Rouse. Gerda Rouse. Right. I think about Gerda Rouse yeah. every day. This is one of your faves. Every day in my life, I thought about it. <laughs> but, like, how much can you really say about Gerda Rouse? Good. Imagine having the contempt and rudeness within you when you get introduced to someone else to just say their name back to them in a funny voice. <laughs> I love that so much. I think about Goethe Rouse all the time. Good. Hello, yes. Hi. Welcome back to YouTube's number one channel. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Not sure. That's I heard correct. that. I heard that. This is our first time in drag since DragCon. Yeah. Still not unpacked. Yeah, yet. I have. Speak for yourself. I've got very high, proud breasts. Today. Apparently, quite the shelf. Are they really high up? Quite the shelf. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't help it being youthful. What are we even doing? I can't remember. What, what is this? Faves. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't help it being youthful. We're doing a faves and shitters, the mm. first of 2024, and you know, we're obviously going to do one every single month of this year. This will be the year. Is it the first of 2024? What month is it? It's January. We haven't done one yet, haven't we? Will someone please save these people from themselves? It's one a month, Nova. No, Nova, have we up. not done one yet? Fuck me. What's that going on? What's that here? Have we already not done one in 20... <laughs> I don't know. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm panicking. What's the date this weekend? No, no, look at the date. It's the first one of 2024. Do you know, oh my God, things are really bad over here, aren't they? Yeah. I haven't eaten much today in preparation for our Chinese. Your nipples are poking through. No, but... Is that part of the Jennifer Aniston? And they're not going to show on camera. 90s Jennifer you Aniston. you can't see it from front on. It's only from your angle, can you see? Okay. Why aren't you erect? So we're going to do three faves. You're very jingly jangly. I'm going to... I know, but I'm not taking them off. So first of all, get over it. <laughs> and second of all, I, would, I just won't move. Okay. I'll be very Marina Abramovich. The artist is present. It's a really difficult job to do. Good. If you are new to our channel, this is our faves and shitters. We talk about three things we like and three <laughs> things we don't like. For example, my first fave. Go for it, Nova. I'm very energized is... today. I feel very good today, don't you? I feel all right. I feel fresh and fruity and ready to go. This is a really, really random one. And it's just okay. like a small thing, but I'm, I'm so happy with it. So they're busy making a remaster of the original Tomb Raider trilogy. Interesting. We've not seen very much of it yet. They released a few new images from it, including high-res images of the new Lara Croft character model. Do you lean back on the chair? That feels rude, doing that. I have to for my back. What? Why? Well, if you have your bum up against it, then you won't be yeah, like, leaning to, back I, so much. Yeah, but my ass is so big, I am forced to be forward of it because my ass is all the way back there. Oh. The new Lara Croft character model, which is basically a updated version of the original pointy boobs Lara. Yep. And it looks so good. They have paid such close attention to the original art direction. I feel like this character model is how we remembered the original Lara looking. Mm -hmm. I think they've been very, very sympathetic to not really changing anything. They've paid really close attention to detail. Mm -hmm. they've, they've seen in like some of the um, outfits that she wears, little details like a, a low rise like pants, like a little slither of underwear on show, or, like a belt buckle. Oh, like, that. Everything's so immaculately She's recreated. She's so iconic though. You know what happened to Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> These people, I feel like now, really yeah. are aware of letting people down. And she is, I mean, come on. She's like original video game heroine. Who else is there? Ha uh ha, -huh. now I've got you. I think this is a very, very good start and it gives me a good feeling about how the rest of the game will be. I tried playing it Team Raider 2 on Twitch, and it was so difficult that I just deigned never to do it again. Will you play that one? Yes, Because I'd I quite will. like you to do the one with the house, put the freezer in the butler. What did you just do then? I can feel you slipping through my head. Good. Just checked the lipstick on my teeth. Okay. I've never played any of them to completion. I remember as a kid, I think I had 
the I think I had a demo of the first one and I borrowed the second one from a friend second or third one from a friend and I remember I used to find it really hard so I would just skip through um, using cheats this is cheating just like skip through to it the was end hard because it was for adults it was not for children and you were a yeah. child yeah it, yeah it's not for children I loved the rebooted trilogy that we recently <laughs> had like PS4 <laughs> You um, sucked at that as well. Because Megan was living with us then and you could not... There was this one bit where she had to get a ladder... It was a puzzle. She had to get this ladder down to climb up a ladder and Nova could not fucking figure it out. So every 20 seconds... Oh, got to be a way to get that ladder down. <laughs> I really should try and get that ladder down. If only there was a way to get up that ladder. And you were like, I, was I, like know. I know, Lara. I know, I'm you trying, bitch. darling. Bye then. And my first favourite, thank you, Nova, for your input there, is... Trifle buns. Trifle buns? Oh, now, first of all, I love them. I love everything about them. Trifle buns. I don't know if you can get trifle buns everywhere. Ew, what the fuck is that? Or is it just Tesco superstores? <laughs> Tesco. Oh, now get into this. Tesco do a kind of bun. Now, buns are he here in the UK. They're very, very standard. They're a very modest treat because they're just kind of like sweetened bread. Modest. Modest. Huge. No, no, no. I mean, in terms of like, it's just sweetened simple. bread, simple, with yes. icing on it, maybe some raisins, depending on what it is. Belgian buns are also great. So Tesco do trifle buns. Now, are they anything like a trifle? Not in a million years. I don't know where the name comes from. Why are from. they called that? I don't know. But it's a bun with a very, very thin layer of jam inside it, with a sort of yellow icing and sprinkles. I think the icing's supposed to be like custardy. Yes. And it's the idea? very, very subtle. I'm not a sweet tooth. I don't go in for like Biscoff, anything really intense. Mm. I don't care for, but a Tesco's trifle bun. And I Googled them. Right. So I could see if it was like, maybe this is like a, you know, British pastime, or is it just Tesco superstores doing this? I think it's just Tesco. On the website, they've only got two stars. <laughs> People demand too much. The reviews are scathing. No fucking flavour, dry as ass. I think that's their charm, really. If people want something really intense, go for a Krispy Kreme. I'm going to get a trifle bun. Okay. Thanks for coming. Do you want to do a shitter? Right. That's how you keep it concise, Nova. You don't, you know, Okay, sh shitter, my please. first shitter. Okay. I'm hoping some people can help in the comments. I don't know okay. if you'll be able to. I very recently had a real craving to watch some old... Pusser. 80s, 90s anime from my childhood. Specifically, I wanted to watch the original Sailor Moon. I wanted to watch the original Digimon and the new Digimon. I didn't even mind watching the new Sailor Moon. Just like there's a, there's a few little things that I used to watch as a kid, as a teenager, that I really wanted to stream. And they're not available to stream legally <laughs> anywhere in the UK. It's so wild to me and so annoying. I recently saw an infographic on Twitter. Up until very recently, you could watch every single season of the Pokemon anime on like the official Pokemon app. Like they had their own like That's app nice. streaming thing. That's very good, isn't it? It's because... What the fuck? They've got rid of it all now because some streaming platform bought one of the seasons and now there's like 17 seasons of this or something split across like 10 different streaming platforms. You can watch some of it on Netflix, some of it on Prime, some of it on Paramount, just some of it illegally on Apple. Then. But it's just such a nuisance. Like, I, Why is it so difficult for me as a consumer to stream this content legally? Like I don't understand. I know I can go sell the high seas. I know there are websites where I can stream it, but I want sale to be able to- Sale the high seas. Yeah. I've never heard that before. I mean, yeah. Have you made that up? No. <laughs> That's so clever. <laughs> it's not really, but like how, that's like cool lingo, isn't it? Oh, you think I'm cool? Well, I do like that lip though. That looks very Thank nice. You. But is that a, a gloss on top of it? Yes. Yeah, that looks very 3D. Thank you. Almost like they're gonna come out and eat me. <laughs> I much prefer just sitting my ass on the sofa and going through our smart TV and just finding something without having to go onto a laptop, connect an HDMI, or think about wirelessly streaming something with, with a platform like Plex. I just want it there. And well, it's really wild to me. They're massive, massive franchises. Sailor Moon and Digimon are huge. Like, why why are they not there? Why are you not putting them online for? Well, Weird. I, for one, am quite glad that that is happening. 
so that you don't watch it <laughs> in the house. I'd rather you watch The Hotel Inspector, something a bit more edifying, edifying. than Sailor Moon. Well, she has stuff to teach, doesn't she? I borrowed £160,000. You can't even purchase these on Blu-ray in PAL format. Oh yeah, people were just screaming at the telly, like, just buy it on DVD. But I want them, like, in, like, HD. Well, you want too much, don't you? <laughs> Apparently. My first shitter is directly sort of related. Oh, okay. Directly sort of related, I just said. <laughs> um, our TV, <laughs> our TV is a piece of shit. I hate it. I hate everything about it. it doesn't work. It's so slow. <laughs> it's so slow. You press, you go along to YouTube and you go like, right, right, you right. Hit in the microphone. I would like to punch our TV. I want to kick the telly. I want to throw it off of a boat. It is so sluggish. You press right, 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 and it'll. you stare at it and just think like, stop being a dickhead, it won't go over. We have done software updates before anybody oh, uh, asks. What is it? Samsung. <laughs> Samsung Black Stainless 24 Carat Feet Family Hug French Store Refrigerator RF2. No. What is it? It's a JVC. It's cheap. It's cheap telly. Just me and my dad's JVC. <laughs> What is JVC? That's not a real brand. You bought it off of the back of like a lorry or something, no? Put it on Curry's. Well, yeah. why are you buying us a cheap telly? Because we didn't have very much money at the time. Oh, okay. Well, we should get another one. Yeah. We should. I hate the tap. <laughs> We've it's also so had it a very long time. We've years had this about five or six years now. I don't know how long tellys last for, but it's such a dickhead. You go to use. Oh. Playing that on YouTube. Yeah, but I've, I, I've, I haven't finished saying my line and it cuts you off. And then, like, I'll be in the. T the kitchen. Have you considered? What's this then? Have we tried changing the batteries in the remote? No. Do you have to change the batteries? Yeah. Hmm. That's just come to me now. Well, someone sh from Curry should come and be doing that for us. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What a ridiculous thing to suggest. And I'll be in the we telly. Try that, really. I'll be in the kitchen, sorry, on my phone, and I'll watch something, and it'll come through on the telly. Yeah, because you've connected the YouTube app. Yeah, but I disconnected it afterwards well, and it connects though. you automatically because it's a prick. Rama! Our TV is such a prick. Oh, you know what? Our TV can suck my bum. Would anyone like it? We can give it to your sister. We'll have it. Your next fave, please. My next fave. Thank you for coming today. Okay. Next fave is the Juicy Marble Stick Cut Fillets. What did you just say out loud? The Juicy Marble Stick Cut Fillets. <laughs> You're so fucking weird about the way I think. What? I was like, who is Juicy Marbles? Is she related to Jenna? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Juicy Marbles. Oh, you've got some pretty juicy marbles there. <laughs> juicy Marbles? <laughs> yes, that's the brand of that vegan steak that we had last night. You have now got it on your teeth. I don't know, I, don't, I only just noticed it. Me too? No then. They were interesting, weren't they? This is a brand of vegan, like, imitation beefsteaks that I think mm. was launched maybe a couple of years ago. And it was originally launched for Valentine's Day, I believe, in Waitrose. And it was part of their, That's like, weird. Valentine's meal deal. You know Waitrose do, like, all the M&S? They sold out so quickly. I have seen so many reviews of these things. You did what? I have got family that have tried them and I've never been able to actually get my hands on them myself. I think they're starting to branch out now into more stores and I saw some in Tesco's the other day. So I bought two packets. They're not like cheap, but they're not super expensive either. I think they were like six pounds for two. Well, which when you, you consider the price this, of a steak. 160,000 pounds. Like that's not that expensive. You were like, uh, I'm not telling you how expensive they are. And I thought they were like a tenner or something. And then he said six quid. I was like, well, for two steaks. All right, they're not steaks, are they? It's some sort of mushroom butt, but like it's still- it's soy protein. That's not that expensive. So if you do have a soy allergy, like these aren't for you. It's um, soz. But they are so good. It's more like beef brisket. They're like hockey pucks of like beef yeah. brisket, but they're so good. Their flavor is really good. Their texture is really good. I've said this for nigh on 20 years now, since the be beginning of time. It's been happening for yeah. thousands of years, Kim. Get used to it. <laughs> okay. 
him. All right, they've managed to replicate chicken fairly well, so yeah. the fish products. I think it could be beef. I've never had a vegan meat alternative beef thing and it's been acceptable. They Did are you not try the Impossible Burger when we were in uh, Massachusetts? Yeah, possibly, but I mean here, oh, like yeah. there's nothing, they're all revolting. This is something that really irks me about companies that make alternative meat products. You'll try it and it'll be like nice and fine, but it will be so much closer to something else. Shit. And you think if they had marketed this as being like beef brisket, you'd be like, oh my God, they've nailed it. It's nothing like a steak texturally. Well, I looked at the packaging and they don't describe them as steaks and describe them as fillets. Oh, so you lied then. You just said marble, juicy marble. Fillets. Butterfly in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly in my ass. We had them like steaks with like a pepper sauce and Green chips beans, and stuff. Yeah. But I think you could easily chop them up and put them in like a stew and that would be real Nice. Good. I feel like you could do some sort of a pulled pork arrangement because it really yeah. was that texture. <laughs> what on earth? But anyway, get off your soapbox. <laughs> she does this every day of my life. I was just really happy to try them and I was really happy that they were good. Right, well, no one say anything then because she's happy. <laughs> So my next fave is an app on my mobile telephone device. Oh God, what now? I have a mobile telephone, do you? Yeah. Yep. So you're aware of apps. If you're about to say grinder, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh. Butterfly in my ass. Someone told me, you know Grindr had that, there's that notification sound. Someone commented Someone's on- Someone's played that on Twitch for us before. Yeah. Uh, because I've never had the app, I didn't, I actually didn't react to it. <laughs> Someone commented on, maybe it was our reaction to that Veronica song. <laughs> so the bit where she goes, it sounds exactly like she's got a message on Grindr. <laughs> what am I talking about? Apps. Okay, rainy mood. Oh. I love Rainy Mood. I use it every single day. Bet you didn't know that about me. No. Every single night. Yes, full of secrets. Yep. Okay, now get into this because if you're a person who like, oh God, there's so much going on. The hustle and bustle, the daily grind, grinder. There's a lot going on in everyone's heads. So if you just need to really center yourself, maybe you need 10 minutes on a break somewhere or you're on a bus. Oh, your earrings are so noisy, aren't they? I'll just take off these really expensive ruby earrings. Buy me a ruby. Why shouldn't you be my... They're all in your hair. This one's really bad. <laughs> I'm really upset. This one's really bad. If you need to fall asleep, I'm telling you, what I've been doing recently is I'll listen to the Jurassic Park audiobook. I'm working my way through it. It is about eight hours long, so give me a chance. And then I'll put Rainy Mood on. It's very good if you live in a flat and yep. you have noisy neighbors yep. or perhaps you live above like a, a nightclub or a shop or something or near a nightclub because I remember using this when we used to live above the old fire station. And I would put it on my laptop because it drowns yeah. out noise. Now when you open it up, it's literally just like this. Can you see that? It's literally just this. I couldn't see anything. You can use their website for free, but the app, I think it's a couple of quid. But on the app, there's a choice between like classic is literally just... Hmm. And there's sliders, so you can change rain, thunder, and birds as oh, well. That's cool. I don't tend to have birds, because it's a bit much. But, but that suddenly that's becomes like tropical, rainforest. <laughs> but they've also got like beach, uh, ocean, countryside, cafe. I don't like cafe. Oh no, I don't want cafe. Countryside, countryside is quite is nice because nice. there's like owls and stuff. Crickets you can add, thunder. So you can tailor, sort of tailor this to your own experience. They haven't paid us to do this, by the way. 160,000. But rainy mood, get into it. Is every single one of your faces gonna be ended with get into it? Uh, yeah, if you know how to sell something properly, Nova, then yeah, I'm gonna say that. How do you end yours? <gasps> My next shitter is something that was just unveiled literally today. I replaced one of mine to put this in. Ryan Gosling getting nominated for an Oscar, but not Greta Gerwig. Oh, oh this will be good. I understand people would include Margot Robbie in this. Now, I'm just going to say my opinion personally. I understand from an acting point of view, Ryan Gosling getting the nomination over Margot Robbie. He has almost like a bigger role, really, unfortunately. His role was more interesting. 
and he had a song. Margot Robbie was fantastic, but I don't know if that character was really lent itself to be an Oscar-worthy performance as much as Ryan Gosling as Ken. Yeah. Just personal opinion. Heresy. However, this version of Ken, played by Ryan Gosling, would not exist without Greta Gerwig. Why was she not nominated? I do not understand. This film was so great. It's one of those things as well where it's all of a sudden become quite popular to dunk on this film and to say it's like really bad feminism or really overly simplistic feminism. This film was very much needed and is still needed. Greta Gerwig did amazing things with this film. If you read about the development, the early development before she came on board, this film could have been very, very different and nowhere near as good as it ended up being. So I just find the idea that a film about such feminist themes is having this happen to it. Greta Gerwig rouse. Yeah, I just find that absolutely shocking. I don't remember any of the performances being like incredible that I was like, oh shit, that's an Oscar winning performance. Yeah. A lot of people were talking about America Ferreira. Was it an Oscar worthy performance? Or it was great. She, was she just given the best monologue, the best speech, the best bit of script? I've seen a lot of people shit on that monologue now recently as well. Anything that becomes super successful, people will then tear it yeah. down. Tale as old as time. It's been for thousands of years, Kim, get used to it. <laughs> I thought that was an absolute shoe in nomination. Like I did not even considered that she would not be nominated Although, for that. you can't necessarily say that without knowing that the other five directors who were nominated didn't do a far superior job. The only other seen those nomination that I know was, um, I think, Nolan for Oppenheimer. That's but the only other you, one. We I haven't know. seen that and we haven't seen the others. So it is kind of a shitter, but without all the information, I don't know, Nova. My next shitter is iron on patches <laughs> because okay. they don't iron on. I mean, so they do. 50% of their name is a lie. They are fraudulent. I hate them. It don't work, does it? What are you going to do about that then? They don't iron on, so I'm sorry, what? what it depends what you're ironing them on to. I don't understand! And how you're doing it. No, that's bullshit. They, they can't be bastards. No, 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 they don't work. They don't stick because... Uh do you mean like the like the embroidered patches that have like the iron on sticky thing on the back? Yes, an iron on patch. They don't work because after like a day, they start peeling at the edges and then the whole thing comes off. I mean, Just it's like, yeah, but that's also tricky because what kind of glue are you using? E6000. And that does not always work. I have tried this so many times because I love a patch and they don't stick. If it's like the purpose... Sew them on? If the purpose... Imagine buying an iron-on patch and then having to resort to sewing it on. You might as well just buy a regular patch that's not iron-on. <laughs> well, sure. If the purpose of it is to iron it on so it stays in place long enough to sew it, fair enough. But they're not selling it as that. How much is it going to cost delivered? 160000 And they're dickheads because they don't iron on. It's like getting into a car and then the salesman's like, oh, look at these brilliant wind-down windows. And then you take off and it's like, well, this doesn't go down. And they're like, oh, sorry, yeah. They don't really work, but we just say that that's what they do. What? I'm not fully, I'm, I'm sorry. This is very, this is not going well for me. Okay. People are just liars, aren't they? People yeah. lie to your face. It's don't, all right. It's not all right. I've got so many patches and they don't go on. I have this jacket. Oh, it's so sad. That is so sad. Fuck me, it's sad. <laughs> and like, I've never worn it because I'm so sad because all the patches are held on with safety pins because the glue wouldn't work and they don't iron on. <laughs> How do you do it? I'm not sewing it. That's too hard. They're too thick to sew them on. Sew it how? I don't have industrial machinery. Just a little bit like in each corner with just hand sew it. Oh, you're going to do it for me, eh? No. Why not? If your boyfriend won't peel an orange for you, like dump him or something. That's interesting. Let's it's talk like about that. Like would you, well, would you thing. peel an orange for me? No. You'd be really <laughs> affronted if I did that. <laughs> You'd be it so depends on the circumstances. So if you had like just done your nails, then yeah, I would. Yeah, but I wouldn't ask you in that case, would I? That... How are they staying on? They're like paper thin. Why don't you show them off? You've done them. You might as well show them off. Look at that Primark's finest. Do an iron on patch for me, please. All right, if they stick on, you can iron me one on and prove it. Maybe I'm using the iron wrong. I don't understand. Your final favourite? Do you know I worry all the time that I'm repeating faves and shitters from previous episodes? Don't you worry about that? Well, I'm kind of half repeating, but not quite. Like, it's more specific. I swear to God, if you say Eurovision season. No, no, no. <laughs> so my favourite at the moment, well, one of our previous faves has been the traitors but my fave today is the recent success of the uk and us iterations of the traitors oh. because 
They're both in their second seasons at the moment, and they're doing very, very well. The UK version is breaking its own records. The numbers are so great. The US version is now being upgraded to actually be on real television, not just on streaming services. And we really enjoy this show. We're really glad that it's being successful and being renewed because there was a moment where we'd watched a few regional versions just the first season. And there's always that question of how can this work for a second season? Like, how can they keep doing this? If people have watched it, this is going to fall apart. And we watched Australia season two and it was so bad and they cancelled the show. They did not renew it for a third season. Imagine being on that cast, being responsible for cancelling a show because you were so bad at it. That fucking blonde woman. And that made us <laughs> worry. Are we going to see this across the board? Is it going to be one of these shows where once you've done it once, the magic can't happen again? But we're good. We're good. The UK and US versions at least. Yes. I've been doing really, really well. And we'll do Ross guys. No! So I'm, I'm happy that we have like a third season to look forward to. The best season of a Traitors is when there is balance <clears throat> between the villains and the good guys. Mm. And it's not just one completely obliterating the other. That is so dull. And that is a shame with the UK season two because there are a couple of people flying through it and there's a couple of really dumb moves going in. So it's very frustrating, it's I think. It's still entertaining though. Yeah, for, for people like us that are just like way more into it than any normal person should be. It's actually, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we should probably turn it off. <laughs> Claudia, oh, you'd have her over for lunch, wouldn't you? Yeah. Do you secretly think I'm the smartest one here? No! And Alan Cumming we'd have as well. $50,000! Yes, I love Alan Cumming. <laughs> oh, that was probably quite loud. Don't shout dollars. <laughs> Did you miss me? No! My last oh, yeah, fave is fave. someone I found on Twitter, X, whatever. The cutest, most charming gent, and he's a librarian. Have you seen this guy? No. Oh my God, he's called Michael. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Well, it's M-Y-C-H-A-L. Now he's this guy that's gone a little bit viral. He's on like TikTok and he's on Twitter and stuff. And he's one of these rare creatures that comes along and just really uplifts you and makes you feel better about yourself. Like Tabitha Brown does this as well. He is a librarian and he does these videos about how he wants more people to experience a library. Hang on a second, in his bio, it's just so, it's precious, it's so precious. His bio on Twitter is, having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. That is so cringe. No! <laughs> you know how unpleasant you are? That felt real. Ooh. They are real, ow. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't scratch it. He does these videos where it's like, did you know where the toilets are? We have more than books. And he, he has this like really lovely ASMR voice. Let me show you a picture of him. He's so cute. And he's like, we've got audio books. You can rent games. We have comic books. Is it just that you want to see his arsehole? No, don't be crude, Nova. Oh, he's adorable, media. I myself had a mental health breakdown. This is a dark video to put on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll skip that one. There he is. Now, isn't he just Very adorable? Smiley. Super smiley. I feel like he would be an excellent, like, children's TV presenter. No! And he just talks about the benefits of getting a library card. And he's like, more people have them, the more kind of, like, funding we'll get. And you should, like, come on down and see what magic awaits you at the library. And he's just so sweet. And he makes me feel really good. That's nice. Michael the librarian. When was the last time you went to the library? Well, we don't have one. We do. There's one like across the road. Yeah. It's like walking distance. I know, but that one's creepy. <laughs> that oh, one's, that creepy. one's creepy. This is creepy. It's got that weird well to the side of it. And it smells faintly like piss. I don't want any. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't go in it either. It's so creepy. I'm not that interested in libraries. Well, if it was like a nice one that had some sort of potpourri or something, I might go in, but that one is. pool library. No! Who's that? In pool. Don't say pool. Where in pool is it? Oh no, I'm thinking of Boscombe Library. I mean, I mean Boscombe Library. Oh, I'm not going to Boscombe. I'm not going to that one across the street. Oh, it's so eerie. But I like, the, the guy I'm talking about is really nice. Okay, your shitter. This is the last My round. Shitter. This is the last round now, yeah. A couple years ago, there was a trailer for a video game called Power World, <laughs> which was, it, it immediately went viral and people started calling it Pokemon with guns. It looked a lot like Pokemon. It was a monster catching video game and it just looked very violent. It was literally, you could beat these animals, you could catch humans as well as these monsters. And there was like weapons 
stuff and people were very intrigued by it. It released a few weeks ago and has gone on to break loads of records. It's super, super successful. It's one of the most successful games on Steam of all time. Oh, that's Not depressing. the most, as they claimed, and then got community noted and had to retract it. <laughs> the issue a lot of people have with this is allegations of plagiarism and use of generative AI for the monster designs. I personally don't believe... <laughs> I haven't seen any evidence for use of AI in the monster designs. I can see why people would think that because a lot of these creatures just look like they've got two or three Pokemon and smushed them together. The designs are very reminiscent of a lot of these create your own Pokemon AI models that went round when AI was still like a new thing. Do you remember those that like you just spit out like nine unique Pokemon? The developer of the game has spoken very highly of AI, has used it in previous games and also recently tweeted specifically about how interesting it would be to create Pokemon using generative AI. Oh! <laughs> They've not denied the use of AI in this game either, but I just want to say that's one of the main things people are attacking it for. There's no evidence for it, that's not my main issue. The problem is, is regardless of how we got to these designs, they're very clearly plagiarised. <laughs> Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. Some people are being very, very pedantic about the fact that the literal wire meshes are not identical. But you put them side by side, and the shapes to so many of these are so close. To the naked eye, they're the same. So either someone has just copied them, they've ripped the models from Pokemon, put them up, and then just copied them as close as possible, or they've taken original models, and there is some software that will alter the polygons and the triangles to make them unique and they've just warped them to their own use. It's so awful. People don't care. This game is selling so crazy. It's doing so, so it's well. It's very disappointing. And it's so wild to me that we're screaming and shouting about how we don't want Gen AI to take away jobs from artists. All we're getting is people shouting about how Pokemon is a billion dollar company. Their last few games have been mid at best. They deserve this. I'm sorry. That's like the argument of a four-year-old. Yeah, that's like, pretty bad. You can want more from Game Freak and the Pokemon Company and also be against plagiarised artwork at the same time. This sets such a precedent as well. I'd be very interested to see if Nintendo or Game Freak, or I don't actually know who would be responsible for this, do go after them to sue them. I'd be very interested. They have to. It's the same shit. Like, it's just... Yeah, intelligent input, darling. Why don't you just have another beer then? It's so frustrating. Seems like a good place to leave that one, doesn't it? Nip that in the bud. <laughs> it's very, it is disappointing. I'm the first person to say that I fucking hate AI, but there are, there are. I don't hate AI as a general rule. for it yes. that is appropriate. I think using it to generate creatures based on models that contain work from artists that do not know their work is Horse in that model. Shit. Bullshit. Is, is bullshit. And I'm gonna come in now with my shitter as well. No! You know, it's quite sophisticated ones, a lot to cover in this. <laughs> okay. uh, Mondays. <laughs> Mondays. Oh Garfield. Mondays. Does Garfield not like Mondays? Famously. Oh, I don't really know much about Garfield. He likes spag balls. Loves right? lasagna and hates oh. Mondays. <laughs> Like the lasagna, that was unique, uniquely shit. Well, spag balls very close to lasagna, isn't it? How do you not know this? If yes. my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. I've never watched it, or what is it? Is it a TV show? I don't it's know. It's a comic strip. Yeah, but I've That's been in like loads of other media. Sitting down to read Because it's like super iconic. So am I. <laughs> Obviously, you're watching this, you're a human being, and you can appreciate that Mondays suck butt. However, I'd like to talk to you about what Mondays are like in our house. Oh, is this just going to be another dig at me? It's not a dig at you in general, no. Well, I mean, most people, ha what is most people's weekends, Nova? What? Saturday and Sunday is generally a week. That's a weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Not everyone has those days off. No. But generally, that's, for the most part, people's days off, right? Well, not for us. Saturday, you know, I do my podcast. We clean the house on a Saturday, don't we? I honestly feel as if I'm being persecuted by pubes. You know, Sundays are our day off. We're t Sundays and Mondays are our days off. But Nova thinks of Monday as being, she gets such guilt from Sunday. You don't deny this, you do. It's like a, a hangover from what's happened on Sunday, which is we do absolutely nothing. So she'll wake up. Oh, she wakes up. She'll announce what she's done already in the day. She'll be like, oh, okay, well, I've done, I've, ch I've changed the, the literature and oh okay right okay sure it's it's a day off from 
our jobs, which means it's time to then focus on everything else that we've not been doing yeah. because we've been working yeah. on YouTube stuff. Yes, but it's the way that Nova has to announce what she's done. And we'll also film me on an itinerary for the whole day. It'll be so kind of like, oh, well, I think I'll just go and attend to some errands at the, the post office now. I think when I come back, I'm going to do my hair. Would you like it, to know where I'm going if I just randomly leave the house and don't tell you I've even left? It might make things more exciting. <laughs> No, but Mondays do suck though, don't they? They're so shit. And also I don't feel bad sometimes on a Monday for not doing anything because I don't know, they're just, there's something so slow and awful and everyone has to begrudgingly get back to their shit because the weekend's over. Mondays. I just don't like Monday. Just manic Monday, oh. But they're never manic, are the they? Everyone's just Sunday. like, Ugh. And oh God, oh fuck me. I used to work with this one woman and she'd always be like, oh, back here again then. New week, same shit. Oh, every week. We get it, Debbie. We are, we get it. You don't have to say it every time. Mondays. Annie. Anyway, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Now I have forgotten to do something on here regarding birthday. So do you want to fill in for a minute? Is that because maybe you thought of that on Monday and thought, no, I can't be bothered. I'll just leave it until it another on day. Monday. And then never, I'm not doing and then it on Monday. I'm going to release my next song, which is I'm not doing it on Monday. I'm not doing it on a Monday. I just want beans on toast. It should be a ballad, shouldn't it? The ballad of Mondays. Shut your mouth. I'm going to sit here on a Monday and not do shit. And that's different to the other days, is it? <laughs> or Nova. Nova, humour, Kim. I'm just using humour. What's the date? It's literally on your screen right now. Oh, yeah. 20 oh, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Why are you so, you're such a snake. <laughs> we have a Patreon Nova, don't we? we Is do, that yeah. worth mentioning? Do you want to talk about that? Sure. What? Talk to them about that then. We have a Patreon. Yeah? Yeah, you can get stuff on there and stuffs. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that? There's yeah, a Discord. Oh, yeah. we've got my podcasts over you, there. Some of the tiers get um, early access to yep. our videos oh. and also birthday shout outs. Which is what we're doing here. Including. But not limited to. Is that what you do? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, give me a minute. <laughs> Why? Shut up. Shut up. I'm sick of all the noise. Nothing you can say will change. Oh, I don't remember it. You can say me is a damn thing to me. It's the same song. Blah, 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 blah. It's the same song. It's the same song. January 17th, it's happy birthday to Janessa J. Champagne. Happy birthday, Janessa girls. Ooh, yeah. Sit up, Alison. For the 18th, Tiffany Howard. Happy birthday, Tiffany. That's an expensive name, Tiffany Howard, don't you think? expensive, yeah. 160,000. For the 20th, it's Victor Reynolds, the LS Diva. Happy birthday, Victor. Some of these names. The LS Diva, I'm sorry, but how clever is that? What's Nova? Well, it was clever to begin with. Redacted. For the 21st, we've got Nikki and Daniel. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Nikki. Happy birthday, Daniel. Daniel! For the 23rd, Xander and Tom. Happy birthday, Xander, and happy birthday, Tom. I think that's correct. Well, Tom and Chris, I think, are a couple here, and their birthdays are the 23rd. But Chris sneaks in, because this is the 31st, so we'll do you guys together. So happy birthday, <laughs> Tom and Chris. Happy birthday, both and of you. And then finally, Kieran for the 26th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kieran. Thank you so much for being with us over on the Patron. We mm. also have a Twitch with gaming playing games, playing games, having fun on Twitch all night long. Yeah. For, for two hours. I'm I'm still <laughs> playing Final Fantasy 13. Yep. And I think I'm going to play Stray Gods next. I'm not 100% decided. That's what's currently on the schedule. Okay. But I might just go rogue and play something else. Okay. I'm currently playing Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Uh, and... Championship Bass. Oh no, I've get, Championship Bass was a one-time thing. Oh, thank God for that. I'm not playing that again, because I kind of okay. did it. I yeah, you I, did. I'd oh, like yeah, to play, God, you did. I'd like to you play the, the PlayStation 2 Sims game, the first one. Busting out? No, that was a second one. The first one, it's just called Sims. Oh. Because you've got to think of something to end, to close on now. Like what? Why don't you sing a song to close? Something smart. <laughs> something smart? I'm not in a singing mood today, actually. Okay, but if this is like the metronome... <clears throat> No. Trifle buns, go get him while hot. You don't This is singing, is it? <laughs> and a good to rouse to our brand new patrons, Nathan Groombridge, Silas Hale, Alec Galt, Dominic C and Peachy. We should try and cook them. 
they might actually be really nice in the microwave. Or would the top layer just slide off like a pat, like a cow pat? No, it might seep in. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.